Welcome to this tutorial showing how to get the fiscal year and fiscal quarter from a date. Our goal here is to create a formula to do so. And we need to ensure that the formula works even though the fiscal year may not match the calendar year. In our example, the fiscal year starts on October 1st. Our date is located in cell B12, October 30th, 2019. Based on the fiscal year starting on October 1st, ideally we will get the value FY20Q1. To understand how we're going to build the formula, I created the following tables. Starting with the data month by month. For January, the calendar month is 1, all the way down to December 12. The second column shows the fiscal quarter for each month. For January, the fiscal quarter is 2. For October, the fiscal quarter is 1. The last column shows you what to add to the calendar year to get to the fiscal year. From January to September, you will need to add 0 to the calendar year to get the right fiscal year, but for October, November and December, you'll need to add 1. We can concatenate this big table into two smaller tables, one for the fiscal quarter and one for the fiscal year. Because pretty much the data changes for the fiscal quarter when January starts, when April starts, when July starts, or when October starts. We don't need the other months. We don't need, we only need the, the four months located here, January, April, July, October. For the fiscal year, it's even easier. Starting in January all the way to October, the value will be zero. Anything in October or later will get the value one. So this is the way to read the data. One and two, four and three, seven and four, ten and one. And for the fiscal year, one, zero, ten and one. Now let's start building our formula, starting with a quarter. And believe it or not, we're going to use a VLOOKUP. Equals VLOOKUP, open parenthesis. The value we're going to look up is the month in our date. We want to capture 10. We're going to use the month function. Month, our date, closing parenthesis. That will give you the value 10 in our example. Comma. Now our data, we're going to enter the data directly into the formula, not referring to another no like that range, but directly again into the formula. And to do so, I will enter the data within accolades. And we're going to enter the data from our table here. 1, 2, 4, 3, 7, 4, 10, 1. Each value within a row is separated by a comma. Each row is separated by a semicolon. So going back to my formula, 1, comma, 2, semicolon, 4, comma, 3, semicolon, 7, comma, 4, semicolon, and finally, 10, comma, 1. Another accolade to close my uh, data set, comma, we want to capture that second value because we want to capture the fiscal quarter. So I need to enter two. And because we don't have all the months in our data, we want to get an approximate match. So typing true, closing parenthesis, pressing enter, we get the value one because our date falls into Q1. So to make it prettier, we're going to add Q in front of the VLOOKUP using quotes, capital Q, and VLOOKUP. Q1, that's the right quarter. Now let's move on to the fiscal year. 
how do we get the fiscal year out of a date? We're going to use the same technique, the VLOOKUP, and then we're going to add FY, and we're going to fix the year to tell FY20 instead of FY2020. Equals VLOOKUP, open parenthesis, same thing, the month from our date, comma, entering our data directly into the formula with accolades. So, 1, 0, 10, 1. 1, comma, 0, semicolon, to move on to the next row, 10, comma, 1. Accolades to close our data. Two to get the value to add to the calendar year, comma true to get an approximate match. We get the value one because the month is October and therefore to get the fiscal year out of the calendar year we'll need to add one to the calendar year. So our formula is not ready yet. We want to get the year from our date plus the outcome of the VLOOKUP, 2020. We're almost there. Now we want to format our year to return FY20. So to get the last two digits from the year, we're going to use the right function write our value comma 2 to get the last two digits we get 20 almost there we want FY in quotes and our formula FY 20 and now what we can do in the next cell, we can copy the formula from the fiscal year, paste it, and then add the quarter. So at the end of my formula, and, and the formula for the quarter. Enter FY20Q1. And we can try with different dates. Let's say 2020, January 30th, FY20, Q2. Another year. And for the new date, it will fall into fiscal year 23, Q2. And that's how you build a formula from a date to get the fiscal year and fiscal quarter. Thanks for watching.